go back over this deck because I, I messed up here. So we're trying a bit of an innovation on Grixis Death Shatter today, YouTube. My name is Dylan Hovey, and we are given a whirl to even chart a course a whirl. I think it's a good card that can provide some card advantage. Even if you're not casting it for two cards, you're feeling Delve or feeling Snapcaster Mage, and it's kind of supplemented by like our Lingering Souls plan after sideboard. Um, we got 17 lands, so I added three bobbles because I think bobbles are scared of the street race, and to kind of help supplement that and grind your game, if you have a search choice Kanta, that can become another land. So, yeah, it's just kind of a good little, good little grindy setup here that's been good to run through a league today. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to to give it to give it a whirl and try some stuff out. Okay, so this hand's okay. We'll keep this. We got a twin two angler. I wonder if I'll lead off the okay, dice so now if we're gonna give ourselves a fair matchup, it looks like. So probably not a turn two angler, but I do assume. I think I'm going to thought season to start because they played a noble hierarchy and I'd like to at least get out ahead of this a little bit. Don't want to just have cast like a really good three drop. I'm going to take them over dead with a cord. Should be able to handle this. Yeah, so I was, I was thinking about brewing a standard deck for today, but decided to like not really, well, not really change very much. And because uh, like I don't know what's gonna get banned. If anything does get banned, I don't think it should. But like you never know. So I guess now I go to eleven. I'm gonna get my land in before I know it. Over the thought scour. Nasty Germasty into play. Hopefully, we can sit behind the stubs for the rest of the game. I'm going to opt on my main phase. Something like that. I guess that's fine because it's going to pump my snap cast and make up. Give my snap some more targets. Finds like a kitchen thing, so we'll pass, and that could be pretty annoying. A 
three, my three uh, engineered explosives should be pretty sweet. Out of the sideboard here. Might as well just attack, and then kind of get, kind of turtle up behind this Snapcaster Mage and uh, the stub. Like I probably can afford to go um, like, I don't know if I'll tap out or not. I might just like I might just Thought Scour and then Snapcaster. Or not Snapcaster, just Alternatively I could threaten to trade with this Snapcaster mage. And then I could opt while keeping up the stub. Yeah, that sounds like that's pretty good. Idea. Get this off the battlefield. Get my phone spot on the floor, just half of their combo. Stubborn Denial is just like such a huge blowout against the Collector Company. Like, you're just trading with one man after their four. They're just like super gross. They're just one of the biggest tempo swings, I think, in modern at the moment. I'm gonna take three. Um, get another, I guess I've only got one red card in deck, so I'm not just getting a black source. I'll oh, do something. I can put that on top, which is probably going to end up paying full retail for it, but... And... Do it one more time. Oh, I should have fetched for my... Like a charge force would be sweet there, just something to gain a little more velocity. I'm not gonna make me a this next turn. I might just cast, I probably should just cast three ways on because they can't block it. Um, I probably should street rate through, I could find a snapcaster. Probably attacking for one. I think I've actually got this one now. I'm gonna hit something here. Trial course is good. So, attack, play Charter Course, play Death Shadow. And I assume they probably jump with their Kitchen Finks. Not probably gonna cast the street wave next turn. <laughs> Love mirrors. I hope everyone's having a good morning this morning. My name is Dylan. I think you guys are wandering on my Twitch page. I appreciate you guys being here. Man, I need some bad coffee. I'm like O for the last three Sundays. Dead to like a path to exile. I guess no, not instead. I can like they pass this, I can just push this. I got the gold. I'm gonna play True Name Notice this next turn. Cool PNN action.
probably after my, like, looking at my sideboard. Definitely the rage is coming in. The brutality. The next stuff. Uh, and then all of these come in. So, I guess I'll, I guess I'm only looking for a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spells. So that might be difficult. So I guess I can, like, the charter courses aren't great. attack with both of my morons, and then play the Street Rage. Ooh. So now they have to double jump. Which is good, that means they're only going to have one power on the board when they untap. Nasty. German. Could have cycled to find another removal spell, but... Definitely should have cycled there just to like, go for it. Because if I find a removal spell, I kill my opponent. But then I guess I'm dead to like. I'm dead to like a Gavin Township, which always feels kind of mopey, or like a walking ballista off the top. Okay, so. Definitely want these. Definitely want these. And then I think that I want. I definitely want this. And we don't need the charts. I don't really like Inquisition and Code Collect in this matchup because Collective Brutality does everything that does better. And I don't like, because like, the deck's so redundant that I really don't like Inquisition because like, you end up just taking a random piece. I have to go a little harder in my graveyard so I'm going to pack in anyway. Like, they're going to bring in, like, they're going to prioritize scatters and moves. I did not pre-release Archmage. Nope, did not. Hung out with some family yesterday, which was a good time. Which, which was fun, but no, did not pre-release. Okay, I can change that. Okay, I just messed the volume a little bit, so I hope that's better. Let's we'll see what this looks like. I don't necessarily like taking out an angler if I'm bringing in Team of Outrage. So maybe I'll cut like a Snapcaster and bring in one of these. So like Snapcaster is good, not great in this matchup, I think. I want all my removal, I want the rages, I want this, and I think I want all these threats here. I don't have to prioritize like holding my removal spells to kill uh, to kill Snapcat to kill like Death Shadow, or not Death Shadow, Scavenge and Use. Doesn't sound like it's changed. That's weird. Cause like I I got it super low on the like on the night bot. I wonder if there's anybody else in the chat that has having a problem with it. 
because like I can't even hear the music now through my headphones. Yeah, we'll keep this. It's not like super great, but we have a redraw, we got a threat, we have this card spell, this one will focus this card and then that card might have that one. So, I don't really want to draw another land for at least a little while. E on two, I, was, I think is the nut in this matchup. Wow, oh, we are. We're like engineering hard over here. So, it seems like there's one. Tracker's one. Devoted Druid's not along, so we'll terminate it. I think I'm just gonna. Well, so, so this is kind of sucks because like they've got Eternal Witness and Tyrell's Tracker as kind of like grind cards. Witness is really slow, and they're probably gonna end up witnessing that like a two drop when I kill it. So I think I'm just gonna take Tracker. I can mop up their two drops with my explosives. Something to do next turn, I can handle it. That's when you're gonna get nasty, you're nasty. Bird is the word. Okay. One, two, three. So, what could this be? The last card could be a couple. We get stuck for that. I think I'm just gonna like just make this. I don't think I'm gonna pass the last fight. I like all my cards. It's at where I have to get a little grindy. If I miss, it's gonna feel pretty bad. So I go E for one and Death Shadow. This looks bad. And I'm probably never casting this, but like they're making a casting in the team unless they find a spell. Yeah, that, that does sound kind of dumb, but I think I'm gonna go for it. Just to keep this thing from flipping and then deploying it. Because we've got to want to work here. So I find like a fetch land. Next time I go fetch land, kill them. Boys, that's an army. Boom, boom. Nine. This is seven, four, three, four, one. This one is here. I can like that. So we have to block both now. We are in shape. I don't really have a mic. It's it's just it's annoying. Um, let me f I'll figure it out after this matchup. Hang on. I think we're about to win here. Because they have to block both. Maybe 
cut the music for now. All right, I just turned the music off, so let me know what that is like. I'm gonna bring my wife some coffee. I'll actually be right back. Let me put the deck up here. Bring my wife some coffee. Might be actually. I actually switched my headphones for this stream that I've been using, so it could be. These out. Put these in. I really wish that that. Um, I really wish that that. Let's jump into the league. I wish that that whatever that one mana removal spell was good enough for modern. Really wish it was. That like. Death Shadow Exile card. How does that sound? Does that sound better? I got my old headphones back in here, the ones that I've been using. So I have no idea if this is good or not. I haven't played any games with this. I'm just like YOLOing it a little bit. Just giving this a try. Oh, it's not good. I'm just kind of, I was just kind of hoping it was. Like it would have been, it would have been very sweet if it was good. I would like to play first. You dub our geist. Ship this. All right, we're going to have to find a thought scour quick. Or a way to fill up our graveyard, but... We don't want this. So I think I'm going to fetch before Street Wraith. Probably get Watery Graves. We only have one red spell in our main deck. Hey, Radio, how you doing today? Charter Course. Charter Course is sweet because we can loot away an Angler. We need to. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Wow, he's got both my anglers covered. Alright, we'll take this for now. Lingering Soul is going to be good in this matchup. Yeah, how was your New Year angler? Charter Course is cool. Like, I don't know if it's any good or not, but, like, I think that this card is, like, inherently powerful, and I wanted to find, like, something for it to do. It might just be, like, too cute. That's a pretty good draw. Like, it's kind of a good draw, I guess. But I can just, like, tap out for it and then get absolutely ranched. But, like, I think I kind of got to get it into play. Or I could just chart a course. So if my opponent... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get one, two, three cards in the graveyard. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chart. I don't really want to play right into this. This guy, one of these. Next turn, I can Thought Seize the Wretch Mind. The problem is, if we play a 5 5, we just play like directly into this Wretch Mind, which 
is kind of, oh, it's not, it was it a smallpox? Do you draw this wrench mine or do you have two smallpoxes? Because if he had two small boxes, that's what I thought he had when I was making my lines of play, but I could have been mistaken there. Yeah, he must I must have known he had wrench mine. I was zoning out and thought that it was uh too um Oh, I thought he had two boxes. It's early. Alright, might as well check. I guess there's no we don't really know what we're looking for. So we'll go here, get back. I guess we'll leave an angler in the graveyard. Charter course is fine. Well, charter course is actually. Yeah, we'll go like this. You guys hear me better? Yeah, that was just like me zoning out. Like if I would have, if I had a thought, if I, I thought this was another. Um, small box. I thought my opponent had two small boxes. First Aussies of the day. Oh, bros. So there's really no sense in opting. So my opponent's got Marsh Flats, Fatal Push left. We're probably dead. We're going to need Lingering Souls to win this game. And if this is a rack, we'll just concede. And then we'll side into our all Lingering Souls. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a mistake. It would have been interesting to see if we'd have got the second, the angler on quicker, how we would have done. All right, so we want these explosives. Kringpaw, thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, sport. We want these. We want these. I think we want this too. I don't want this. I don't think I want Street Wraith because, like, I just think that I got better cards. There's no sense hurting myself. I don't want the pushes. I might bring more Street Wraiths back in, but this is what I want to start with. The counter spells seem a little unreliable. Maybe I just want more spells that do things. So, like, I can bring this in. Probably can cut one counter spell. Go something like this, just something that we can do to grind a little better. The street, it's going to be hard finding because we only have 17 lands. We do have the three bobbles for redraws, so it's going to be a little harder without Street Wraith in our deck, but we can give this a whirl. The search is sweet, search is very good against this kind of deck. I was playing when I first. When I was first playing Search when it came out, I was playing like blue white control, and this card just single handedly beat this eight red deck. Because I just drew two cards a turn. And we gotta make sure we draw. No, we beat the Coco deck. We're siding for an eight rec deck. I oh, do not want to play first. Alright, our hand's pretty good. We can get nasty Gurmasty on two, but I'll probably try to play Search. Or engineer explosives. I might just EE for one on turn one. Or not. Shrinking inflection. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to EE for one on turn one. Oh, I should have bought I guess they've got. I, this shouldn't be in my deck. I should have a fatal push over this. And I play, I've decided to put a search in this deck because I wanted to, like, it's a good grindy card, and I wanted to just have another land in the matchup, so I boarded Lingering Souls. So, they could have Pack Rat. I've been playing against this deck for a little while, and I have not seen a Pack Rat in a long time. So I think I'm just going to, like, oh, shoot, I didn't have to fetch there because of a reward. Whatever. Play this. Next turn, find a land. Play two threats. I have yeah, I haven't seen a pack rat out of these decks in like months. We're waking up, Archmage. It's early, it's early in the morning. Um, I think I actually want Blood Crypt. 
Because if they, if they, uh, what was I going to say? If they smallpox me, I wanted to be able to get, like, both. Like, I didn't want to lose out on a color. I wanted to just, like, get one because I'd probably sack the blood crypt. So now I have a free land of smallpox. It does kind of suck that this search isn't going to flip, but for a while. So I actually can't. One, two, three, four, five. That's why holding the fetch was optimal. Yes. Yeah, I definitely want to. I, I agree that we want to thought seize because, like, we just don't want to run into a Liliana. All right, the rack, the rack, smallpox. And then I'll play Death Shadow. I'd rather have Death Shadow smallpoxed than, um, than my angler because I'm going to be able to like flip search next turn and cast angler, probably discard one of these. Well, their hand's kind of loaded, right? I mean, we're going to be able to get a three for one if, like, they play these racks out with these engineered explosives. Going to hit my watery grave because Kologon's command is like a real card at this point. Flip search. Get rid of this. Because we gotta slog through these eventually. Okay, so they discarded a swamp, so they drew and they drew that swamp. No, they discarded a swamp, they get the rid of the herbaloid. So I could thought seize their last card, which is probably worth it. Do you want to transform as Kanto the Sunken Ruin? Yes. Alternatively, no, that was stupid. Because I, I would rather just hold up Angler, and then I can flash this Dot Season if my or the Snapcaster in if my opponent top decks a Liliana, or I can blow up this. I guess I'm not really blowing up the Shrieking Affliction, regardless. Yeah, that was stupid. Need to wake up. So what do I want to do? Thought seize into Angler means I take three from the Shrieking Affliction, which I'm not super excited about, and two from the Thought seize. I'm just gonna like, no, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go like this, hold up our Snapcaster, keep, get rid of Angler, terminate Death Shadow, leave Thought Scour to re. To re uh, to refill the yard. I don't like switch flip on its own. I wanted to be I wanted to like get something down and slug through their cards, but maybe that was not was not optimal. But we get to hold up because like the rack doesn't kill us on its own, right? At this point, what does suck? If my opponent hits a Liliana, that's going to suck. And now we just hold up mana, draw a card. We know each of our opponent's last two cards of the rack. Now I just want to play Death Shadow. Because they can get. So we're in good shape as long as we hold up the CE. Right? I'm not crazy here. 
as long as we have EE going on, we're all set. Because like we can now get rid of both of these racks if my opponent plays them. We just need to not tap out. My opponent small boxes, then I'll ditch this, this, and this probably. If we can start working this as Kanto, we'll, we'll be in good shape. But we gotta get there. It's kinda funny that my opponent's name is Yudo Bar Geist and they're playing small box. If this is a veil, I'll save a little snappy from the edict. So I'll have zero cards, take three, go to six, then hold up EE. Yeah, I think we just flash in the old Snapcaster here. And Snapcaster's biting the dust. Well, so if my opponent plays a rack, if I flash in Snapcaster, my opponent discards a rack, plays a rack. I take six and go to three and then have to EE next turn. Then my opponent hits me two. Then my opponent hits me to so we go to six. Take six, ten them. And then we have to answer this mutal vault. But then my opponent top decks. Yeah, I think we got a flash of the old snapcaster. Is us kind of good and greedy? I don't know. I don't know if it's very good. I just wanted to like the way that my sideboard plan was made. I wanted to have one more card in grindy matchups because I'm only playing 17 lands. I wanted. Oh, I guess we're because we took one point. We're dead to the mute vault. If my opponent plays the rack here. So then we can't attack unless we hit. Yeah. And there's no way to do this, right? Like, because these are going to resolve. I can't just blow the EE up in response. Yeah, we can't attack. I mean, I got there. That's not bad. We don't have to crack it, which is good. Let's let's remember that. We gotta make sure to kill this thing before we untap. Yeah. Uh, so that just kills us. I definitely messed this game up at some point here. Definitely messed this game up at some point. But hopefully that's the only mess up to the day. That just felt kind of gross. Yeah, I needed to do that. Culpo. Yeah, like I, I just like again, it's early and like I missed that. The odds are like that play wouldn't have won us the game anyways, because like we we were just in a tough spot because I think of mistakes that I made earlier, which sucks, and you know you deserve it. So. Maybe that means Engineer Explosives like isn't very good in this deck, even though I've seen like a bunch of these decks play it. So that might be worth looking into. So yeah, I'll keep this. Gonna bobble myself. If I like it, then I won't cantrip or won't thoughtsies. 
Inquisition don't like it, so we're going to thought seize. Eldrazi Tron. So this is the easiest chalice if I've ever seen one. I wish that I had kept that engineer explosives on top. Or not that engineer, that uh, discard spell so I could go like map um, chalice, but we're going to take, I guess I could go map stub the chalice. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Map stub chalice. No, oh, we hit we hit our E. <clears throat> it is very shiny Eldrazi Tron. You were right about that. So, I guess I'm going to Inquisition because the stub can hit one of these Allah's Dust, or one of these in Allah's Dust later in the game. Could have been greedy and gone for like the opt play, but that doesn't seem exactly great. Don't top deck a chalice on me. It's a walking ballista. Land. Okay. So I'm going to go down to 12 and I'm going to chart a course. We've only got one red spell in our deck, so. And our opponent's got a ghost quarter. Filter our draw step a little bit. So we know this doesn't do anything. So we might as well take this, get rid of that. And then next turn we can play Angler and hold up Stub. Dude, I, I don't know if Charter Course works in this deck. It's, oh man. Like, it's cool. Is it good? Like, I don't know. It was just, I wanted to try something different. And like in theory, it's okay because if you think about it, like draw two, draw like on the floor, draw two discard. Besides the fact that it's a two drop, you have to tap out in turn two. It's not efficient, but draw two discard, fuels angler, fuels snapcaster mage, and filters your dead draws. Which in the late game, discard spells and like snapcast, uh, discard spells and street rates are dead draws. And if you couple it with my sideboard plan, which is like lingering souls, then charter course and lingering souls is sweet. I. I don't know if it's good or not. I just wanted to give it a little whirl today. So we're going to opt for a fetch land. That's pretty good too, but then they can just put a counter on this. So I kind of want to Thought Scour, because if I Thought Scour and find a fetch land, I'm in good shape. Because I don't really want to trade my Shadow for this Ballista. Yeah, we didn't find it. Okay. Now I'll be able to play a larger shadow. Unless I hit another Thought Knots here. Jesus. Oh, that was gross. So now I take this Death Shadow. Now I'm going to need like, a Fetch Land to survive. Right, because I go to six. They put a, if they hit a land, they just put a counter on this. But then we die because of the fetch land. Oh, anglers. Anglers good as long as they don't put a counter on. If they go to put a counter on this, I have to push this. So I don't want. I don't want thought seize. Don't want inquisition. Um. Don't want godless shrine. Any of these cards are probably okay to draw. But we'll get rid of the slow trip. If they put a counter on this, we'll have to push it in response, which is kind of mopey. Block, take five. Ooh, I messed up. I had to do that in my main phase. Gosh, we're all over the place this morning. Gotta wake up. Chalice on one. 
So now I've just got to push this and let the chalice resolve. Get rid of this. This is going to resolve. Cast this. Ditch the Street Wraith more than likely. Terminate's good. So get rid of this. Oh, I guess I should have just got rid of the stub. Oh, we're we're losing our minds today. No, I'm gonna play Great Great Success Shadow, but I'm I'm losing I'm I'm losing it today. Reality Smasher does it. Reality Smasher does it. I'm getting caught. I worked, I worked nights this week, and now I'm getting like, getting uh, it's it's catching up to me. I like Rage against this deck. Um, don't necessarily like the Charter Courses because we're not like looking to grind with our opponent. All my chats come with an implicit cap at the end of it. You're the Kappa man. I don't love Stub in this matchup, but I do. I do think you want a couple of them. And Inquisition is like good, not great. I'll bring it back in on the. I'll probably bring both of these back in on the draws. They're turn one answer to uh, Chalice of the Void. Yeah, this is what we're going to do here. Let's turn this around. 23 viewers this morning. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday and a good weekend. I hope their pre-releases went well. If that is what you decided to do, we will keep this hand. Looking for a Thought Scour or... Yeah, looking for a Thought Scour a Death Shadow or a Discard Spell. Put the Fear of God into my opponent. So what does that do? That's my third land to let me go snap up. But like I think I just want to dig to a way to deal with chat, dig with a to get a chalice, which that is. So a good draw. Okay, so Mindstone Dismember. I could just take Dismember Reality Smasher. Which, or I, I want to take Reality Smasher because it's going to be a two for one no matter what. It's going to be hard for me to deal with it. And I think I want to take Dismember as well. So, take it on this turn. And now I get Blood Crypt because I have more red spells in my deck. Ghost Core is going to be kind of annoying, but we should be able to play around that. I just thought that I had some cards that were worse. Scrub a Dubba. Like, oh man, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna Tron. Like, it's not necessarily great. You know, I, I super I super duper acknowledge that. But it's just better than some of the cards that I have. Okay, let me look at my top card here because one, two, three, this is gonna be the seventh card. So if I have like a stub or a rejection that I can not delve away. That's that's gonna be fine draw because it's gonna allow me to get a little more velocity with Snapcaster Mage. So there's no sense in leaving Thoughtseize in my graveyard because they're going to play off the top whatever they get. So leave the opt for some more velocity.
Plus, our pushes are like much better than normal. Our pushes are better than Grixis Death Shadow pushes normally because of the fact that we play Mishra's Bobble too. So we just have more ways to do the do that revolt thing. I'm gonna cycle this, sure. Ooh. So crack for five. Probably play Death Shadow. That's what this deck does. And again, scrub down the like part of that is that, you know, I have to like look what we took out. You know, like Tartar Course isn't what we want to be doing here. Stubbs probably not Stubbs not super great either, and I don't really like Inquisition in this matchup, so my opponent drew that. So what is this here? So six, eleven, fifteen. Yeah, I'm just gonna flash in a snapcaster mage and then try to snap opt and look for something to deal damage to myself. Right, because this is eleven thirteen. If I find like a street race at thought sees. Or fetch land, we're in good shape. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, that's 15. Okay. So, on the draw, I'm going to want some more answers to Chalice on one. Which means I'll probably bring in some number of these right here. So I think I'm going to cut an angler because I'm going to assume that they have um, some graveyard hate. Probably can cut a team or battle rage because if we're going to cut an angler, team or battle rage isn't going to be as great. And then we probably can ditch a push. We'll go with what? The old scrub a dubba. All the cheese in my. <laughs> the struggle, man. Sort by converted mana cost. So yeah, now we've got six, we have six, 12 ways to deal with Chalice on our turn one. So I'm either probably going to keep a, a rejection, stubborn denial, discard spell hand, or Colgan's command hand, or probably mulligan to start, unless like we've got some, some like super heater or something. 33 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good morning. I hope your pre-releases went well, if that's what you did yesterday. My name is Dylan Hovey. You've come onto my stream, so I appreciate you all for being here. Yep, we're going to keep this because we can do the bobble trick. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have two, um, whatever it is. Oh, hopefully we don't get Thought Knots here on one also. That rejection is good. This is why bobble's great. Like, everybody poo poos on bobble. Bobble's sweet. So we have a Snapcaster in my hand, and I wouldn't mind going like Snap Rejection, so I'm actually going to hold off on fetching for one turn. If we had hit another Fetch Land, we would have been able to Angler, but... Okay, Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet Bomb's pretty annoying, but I think we're going to get rid of this Thought Knots here, and then reject this Reality Smasher. Like, Ratchet Bomb's annoying, but they're, they're going to have a hard time Ratchet Bombing an Angler. Black card gets ratchet bombed. Swear to God, if this guy rips another, this guy ripped another draws or thought realities or thought not zero, I would have like cried. That's what I'm talking about. So this is three, two, three. Five. So we're going to be able to angler next turn after opting, which is pretty good for the home team. Now I'm going to I'm going to I'm looking for lands.
Oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. We're all over the place today. I looked over at the chat. We just clicked the wrong thing. I gotta focus. So now we're like trading our angler off. Trading our guy off next turn. Or we're looking for a terminator dismember. So we go to six. Then we just play out triple dude. Trade. And then it's reality smasher. And three unknowns versus. Ugh. This is going to be okay. Yeah, that was a super punt. This is a league for the Bucks. Yeah, it's it's not it's not been our proudest moment. We're just like misclicking. We're going nuts this morning. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm normally not this bad. So we're actually we're we're, we're pretty fine because, like, I'm gonna play fetch a dash play an eight eight play an angler have rejection and stubborn denial up. Then have Snapcaster to get myself one, two, three, four, five, to get myself a little more velocity. Like, we're certainly in a little bit of trouble. We, we've definitely played ourselves into a little bit of a hard spot here. But, like, all is definitely not lost. We just have to, like, not lose our minds. Do you have tribal Bible thumb? Yes. Yeah, we're just we're like in all reality, we're just giving our opponent an extra chance here. Like we feel bad for our opponent. We're just gonna like give them the chance to do to you know to get to get back in the game. What is this? That is a relic. Relic is annoying, but we're gonna have to let it go because my if we like get rid of it, my opponent yeah they're just like looking for something. Opponent's probably looking for a dismember. Just dismember probably wins them the game. Now should I stub that because that's that's just a random draw, and we have Snapcaster made to deal with it. I'm just gonna get rid of. I'm gonna trade draw steps. I think. Because this isn't like, I'm not stubbing anything that's worth, that's that good. What I'm worried about is what this will draw, and I do want to fill up my graveyard when I've got Snapcaster Mage. So I'm just going to attack with Death Shadow now. So we'll crack in, play a land. Opponent might just pop this. Yep, what a guy. Our, I think our opponent's looking out for us. Like, my opponent's like, dude, I realize, and we couldn't attack with Gurmag Angler there because if my opponent wouldn't have just taken the damage and wouldn't have uh, gotten rid of, uh, my opponent would have just taken the damage and not popped this. We play Angler. I guess we could have flashed in Snapcaster Mage, but that feels kind of mopey. One, two, three, four. Four. Ceremonious rejection. Oh yeah, we're we're in good shape now. Look at this. We even gave our opponent a chance, and we're gonna we're gonna do good. Ooh. So I don't really want to cast this because I don't want to ditch my Snapcaster Mage. But I will cast it next turn. Also, I don't want to go to want like. I want to attack here just with this because if I dismember this, then I lose to an off the top, um, whatever it is. I lose to an off the top reality smasher and I lose my snapcaster, which is just like with snap stub and rejection in the graveyard, we just, we don't need to play that aggressively. Dude, we might as well be cocky. Like, if we're playing this bad, we might as well, like, hope that everybody in the chat doesn't know how bad I am. And bring her. Re 
reject this. See, I knew we were going to be all set. Then we just dismember this. GG. Long live Snapcaster Mage. It's a powerful magic card. Play around Gut Shot because we can. What is this? Discard it. No, I want to discard this. Why did it say no? Why did it not give me an answer? Oh, it's bugged out. Oh, okay, so we still get it. All right, we, we salvaged our less than stellar. I'm not super proud of that, that match. All right. I am going to go get some more coffee, put up my sponsors page, and I'll be right back. Do you use Card Hoarder? Yes. So Card Hoarder um, is the best. It's a bot chain, and Card Hoarder is the best bot chain. I'm going to put my music on. Uh, I'm, I, I think I need the music. I think that's what Tossin what is messing with me. It wasn't working earlier, but we're going to try it now. Yeah, Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. They've got, like, my stream sponsored by Card Hoarder. I rent cards from them. I get, they, they loan me cards and allows me to play a bunch of different decks. Um... Gamer Crazy in Upstate New York is where I learned to play Magic, and they are sponsoring me to play as well. And if you ever want to connect with me, talk about modern in general, Twitter's the best way to do that, and you can always find replays of my stream on YouTube. So you can see that, like, I do better than that. I'm better than the last, the last match showed. And you can find that on YouTube. So we haven't really gotten a chance to see Charter Course sign yet. Archmage is here, he's seen it, he knows. All right, I would like to play first. And this hand's pretty good. Like we can't, we can cast a bunch of our spells. We're gonna look at three cards before our next land drop. So we are gonna keep this. This all could come crashing down. We just need those traverses. Yep. We have blue cards, we don't know what to do. 
cycle this first. We might hit a fetch land that we can scry. That's nasty. Nasty, germasty. Lead off with an Inquisition. Cavern of Souls. So we're probably playing against humans. Which is what the EEs are for. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to deal with Mantis Rider. I think we're going to deal with Mantis Rider, push this, hopefully hit a land of Thoughtseize in the next Mantis Rider. Mantis Rider is just really annoying. And it's how like I generally lose this matchup. Because it's like it's not usually pushable. Just a bit annoying. <laughs> Such is life, Archmage. So we'll get rid of this. We play Noble. We hit a land like a pro. Then we've got one, two, three, four, fetch lands, five, six. If we hit Street Wraith in the land, we can play anyway. All right, land. And the reason, so the, the reason to pushing that instead of, I guess I should have pushed the Lieutenant. I could have gone like Inquisition, then push the Lieutenant, which probably like, which might have been a better play. The thing that that does by doing it like that is I get rid of one power now, but in the long run, like that might not matter. All right, come on. Yeah, we got to get rid of this um, Mantis Rider, and then we'll play Angler next turn. Nasty Germasty. All right, so our opponent doesn't have anything going on, so they're giving us a chance. If we hit one land, we're in good shape. I mean, we're kind of in good shape regardless at the moment, because, like, as long as my opponent doesn't hit a Reflector Mage. If my opponent hits a Reflector Mage, like, this game's going to get pretty difficult. All right. So we're doing this anyway, so we might as well do this now, just to like better inform this. So let's, we're gonna play Angler. We don't want Stub, because they don't have anything that's Stubbable. We want Street Wraiths, because it's more draws. We probably just don't want Discard Spells, because they're gonna be playing whatever they get off the top. We want Death Shadow. We probably can get rid of, well, the Street Wraiths are better than the Bobbles at this point. Yeah, so we'll go like this. And now let's just like hope that my opponent doesn't Reflector Mage me. If we get Reflector Mage, this game could get difficult. Canopy. So I think I'm going to Thought Seize my opponent. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna thought he's my opponent now. So let's attack first. Then this opponent's whining that this game is ridiculous. My volume better, Archmage, than it was. Come on, what are you doing, my friend? It's probably just whining in chat. I, I'm gonna miss Liliana the last hope in this matchup, I think. has nothing. And I'm gonna get another blue source here because we're gonna want to snap Thought Scour or snap we might they're like we might want to go snap push. Yeah, I don't want to I don't really want to hear it. Like man like you choose to play a deck without any manipulation. I played like I missed my second land. This is this is like frustrates me. Like yes you drew you drew five lands. Like that happens playing magic.
think Angler's way better. Angler's just one point bigger. Like, it's that easy. So, I can't, like, exactly. Because this is eight. All right, so I'm going to fetch. Well, no, see, this was a mistake again. I'm all over the place today. Because if I fetch and I miss, if I fetch shock and I look for, oh, I guess, hang on. So if I fetch shock, I go to five. Thought scour, miss. Snapcast, I go, then snapcaster mage can block, okay. I'm just not going to use a removal spell on this. I need like a, okay, that's fine too. Because like if they played a Mantis Rider or something like that. Mm -hmm. And probably just play out another Angler. Get rid of all of my discard spells. We don't need this Street Wraith. We don't need a Death Shadow. Just get back more spells. I was paired against that guy. Three Master Road, you're absolutely god like perfect. Must be used to that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, again, like, I don't have any sympathy for this person. Like, you're playing a deck without manipulation. You chose to not have any manipulation. Like, it just cry me a river, man. It does cost one more, but like, it's just a better creature. Yeah, dude, I don't care. He's just going off, like, this game is so ridiculous. When I thought season have fun, five draws, five lands, eight draws, seven lands, one vial. Like, whatever, dude. Play manipulation. It's like the same thing, like, um, so I want these. I'll get back to that in one second. Hashtag blame the shuffler, exactly. We don't want stubs. They're gonna bring in Dismember after sideboard, but we still like, we just don't want Stubborn Denial on our deck. I think Charter Course, Lingering Souls might be okay. Cause it just kind of like gums up the ground. So what if I go like this? Cause I've definitely played matches against humans that like, that go long. Yeah, dude. Turn two tasker's good, yes. Turn two angler's good too. I mean, that happens as well. I don't know if this is exactly accurate. I kind of want to just turn into like a slower deck after sideboard. Maybe I'll get more aggressive when I'm on the play. But like, I kind of want to try this Lingering Souls Charter Course thing against this deck. K Command's like okay, but I don't know if K Command's like. Because by the time K Command's online, their vial's probably done the damage. Shock doesn't really kill a lot of things in this matchup, I don't think. And I find them playing off the top so much that, like, you're forced to draw step this. And if you draw step this and they have a vial, it doesn't really matter. But maybe it's just like another removal spell, so it's okay. Like, maybe I want to take out another discard spell. What does Brutality hit? Like, Brutality is just a minus two, minus two effect. Like, it's not like they've got Collected Company in their deck. If they had Collected Company, I would be, I'd be sideboarding much differently. <laughs> like, I, I could see Brutality when I'm on the play because there's a chance I could hit, like, a... Uh, a moron, 
But if I'm playing this on the draw, then like they could have already played Thalia and then I'm pretty much like murked. So I think we're gonna go like this. We are going to chart a course. All right, we're gonna keep this. And we're gonna draw a blue land. Seems pretty good. Like we can push a moron. File, that means we can discard a moron. Take target Mantis Rider. Ooh. They have Chalice? Okay, so now we gotta do some thinking. Okay. Push. Push checks Dahlia. Thoughtseize checks Mirror and Crusader. Dismember checks Mantis Rider. Inquisition checks Chalice. And hope my opponent doesn't draw anything the rest of the game. Oh, I got a Twitch alert there. Uh, Philip, Philip Gaff05, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get this down. Because my opponent drew a land, they were in a lot of trouble. Then hopefully they miss for a turn. Hopefully they miss for a turn on this Mantis Rider. Well, the Ancient Ziggurat can't even cast Ether Vial. That's cute. It's a bad Noble Hierarch. Okay. So now I really want to hit land, so I can play Death Shadow, and I can dismember something or push something. Terminate. So, push this, opponent plays this, attacks me for four, I'm at seven. Dismember playing five life, death, four life, I'm at three. I need to get this Dally off the board. This taxing effect is too much. Though I should wait for my opponent to attack because that saves me one point of damage. So I think my line is pass, push the Thalia, take three from the Mantis Rider, go to eight, play Death Shadow, dismember the Mantis Rider, and then like, hopefully, then the Terminate's turned on. Hopefully we draw a land for Lingering Souls. A kite sail freebooter messes with this a lot, but we know my opponent's hand. Hey, take it easy, Kring. Appreciate you show you stopping by. Another vial. Okay. Here comes the old rider. I think I'm going to take care of this Mantis Rider on my main phase also. I don't really want it to get Reflector Maged. And then we just hope, hope to God they don't have a Mantis Rider off the top. And then we play our 9-9. Nine -nine and we just like fade a draw step. Or Mirror Crusader, basically. Okay, it's a redraw. Yeah, everyone likes a redraw. That is intended, that's okay. So I need E for two, or I can attack and hold up terminate. 
I think I'm gonna attack and hold up terminate. E for one's not great. And again, we lose we lose to Magic Rider. We lost to Magic Rider even if we didn't attack. Thirty-four viewers, thirty-five now. I hope everyone's having a good good Sunday morning on this long weekend. Mess with my camera a little bit. Earthquake. Oh. On this long weekend. Hope everyone's relaxing. Unclaimed territory is a miss. And I think I'm going to take this shot here. We're going to take this because if we terminate this, then we got it. This does set us up for a little bit of failure. Like Reflector Mage is pretty bad. Oh, well, there we go. I am going to run to the bathroom. I will put the deck list up and then I'll be right back. All right, back in it. Let's finish out this league. It's 4 1 this thing. Ugh. Smaz 3N. Yeah, we can keep this hand. I'd like a discard spell, but. Oh no, we're playing it's burn. Our hand is not bad if we're playing against Burn. Just need to like be ready to take it slow. So I think I'm gonna go like this and then pass. 
and then figure out what I, exactly I want to do with my Death Shadow and how much damage I want to take. Figure out if I want this card. One, two, three, four. No, I don't want this card. Let's get rid of this. No plays for my opponent. All right, we drew an angler. So three, 13, 14, fetch, fetch, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 cards in graveyard. I can get Angler into play and only take 1 and only take 5 damage to do it and then have Stubborn Denial. I have 3 cards to my graveyard. I think I'm going to go fetch a basic and then cycle this a couple times and see what it does for me. I think I'm going to get Angler into play though. And then untap, cast that shadow with Stubborn Denial up. Delve my entire graveyard. And then just like hope we don't get turn three here. There's a very real possibility we die. Especially when my opponent's fetching a basic. Nine. Okay. But if I get to untap with Death Shadow, Gurmag Angler. And stubborn denial up. We should be okay. Play this. The next turn we attack for enough. Okay. So, Blood Crypt Terminate puts us to. Okay. So we're good, right? 14, deal 3 damage, 10, 15, yeah. I have to get a red source. And even though that was poorly timed, there's nothing they could do because we had the stub. Okay. If you cycle anyway, why not before land? Cami, Cami Durach. Are you talking about on uh, the cycle anyway? Why not before land? Because I didn't want to. I didn't want to draw into my basic. I wanted to be able to fetch for my basic and then be able to angler. I think that's what you're talking about, but I'm not exactly sure. So charter course is pretty medium. Probably want engineered explosives over charter course, but engineered explosives seems. Pretty slow against this deck. Probably, probably command is worth it. Thanks, Fulkerson. EE sounds seems pretty slow. Like three mana to kill a goblin guide seems kind of mopey. I think this is what I want to do. 
I'm gonna submit this. Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright, um, Thoughts he's on one. Probably Death Shadow on two with how this hand works, because we're going to have to present a Death Shadow to be able to block. My opponent mulligan, and it's just really, it's really hard to mulligan a hand with Thoughtseize, a discard spell, when your opponent mulligans. Put it on top. I didn't want it. Not a creature, okay. Alright, let's check out our top card. Stub. So we want that. So let's get there's a blue source into play. Opponent's dead. Yeah, it's an unfortunate draw from our opponent. But sometimes that's how magic works. I actually wouldn't mind if they played something like an Eidolon here. Because the Eidolon would let me skulk off me, sure. So that means my Death Shadow is going to be huge. I guess I'll go to 8. Play Shadow. Then next turn I'll attack with Shadow. And we finally get the Charter Course for two cards. In the burn matchup, which is not very relevant. I thought it concedes. We didn't get the charter course for two. Alright, 4 1, nice. Alright, um, we're gonna go chit chat it up with my wife, and then I'm probably gonna run it back. Be right back. Hey, finish my first leak. All right, I am going to be back this afternoon. Just got some stuff that I have to do this morning, but I should be back around 1 o'clock this afternoon. So I'll open up two treasure chests that we won today. I did like this deck. I don't know if I'll play it this afternoon, but... We've got the old Kalidas. This card was a beating limited. Then open up one more. And we missed. All right. So I appreciate everybody for showing up. And uh, I will see you all this afternoon. And hope you have a good rest of your day till then. See you guys later.